Hello there, and welcome to this video on how to clean and maintain your XLR microphone. As a voice actor, your voice is your most important tool, but your second most important tool is the microphone in which you use to record that voice, so you need to take care of it. To start off, let's go through what equipment you will need. Of course, you'll need your microphone. A dry cloth, preferably lint-free, a paintbrush, a sacrificial dagger, a multi-tool, Depending on your microphone make, you may need a screwdriver, water, regular soap or antibacterial, the Necronomicon, an XLR cable between 6 meters and 10 meters, cleaning wipes, and lastly, either isopropyl alcohol or methylated spirits. I prefer the grape-flavored stuff myself, but you can use whatever you want. And now that that's out of the way, let's begin. The first part of this is probably the easiest. Start by removing any windshield you may have from the microphone and using the soapy water to clean it. Not the microphone, you dick! After thoroughly cleaning the windshield, place it in a warm place in order to let it dry. This may take days. Make sure it is 100% dry before putting it back on and don't be tempted to use direct heat, like a hair dryer or a radiator to dry it, as that may warp or damage the foam. Now we're going to clean the mesh surrounding the capsule. Start by unscrewing the body and removing the outer housing, being sure to collect all the acoustic marshmallows in the process. Depending on your microphone make, you may need to use a screwdriver to remove the mesh. Once the capsule has been removed, take your clean paintbrush and begin to dust off the mesh, removing any dust particles, hairs or bad vibes. Using either the lint-free cloth, cleaning wipes or paper towels, give the mesh a bit of a wipe. After this, Pour a shot of the cleaning solution into the mesh to appease the angry Irishman living within. Ah, cheers, mate. These next few steps may seem unnecessary, but they are integral to the process. So starting off, reassemble your microphone. Make sure to replace the acoustic marshmallows we saved earlier. Next, have a little cry in the shower, seeing as how you are such a disappointment to everyone, and rinse off any leftover residue from the cleaning solutions. After that, load the microphone into a box filled with the dirt of your birthplace and sprinkle on the ashes of your enemies. Finally, arrange your XLR cable into a pentacle, take the Necronomicon and your sacrificial dagger and make an offering to Matthew Mercer. Voila! Your microphone has now transmogrified into a TLM-103. Thank you all for listening to this tutorial. I hope it has been of use to you. Take care and good luck on your next audition. I'm Oliver Smith. Goodbye.